Hello, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the video today. <laughs> I'm gonna do something a little different than I usually do. This is a comparison of Copic markers and Artist's Loft alcohol-based markers. Now, these are some markers that I picked up very recently. I don't know uh, exactly who makes this brand, but I picked them up from Michaels and they are a discount alternative alcohol-based marker to the Copic markers. So just to give you a frame of reference, uh, these pens are $3.99 Canadian at Michael's where I got them, and the Copic markers are, I believe, $7.99 Canadian from the same store. So that's at least a $4 difference per pen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I picked up six. It was a grayscale set, uh, so it was six markers for $19.99. Now on top of that, uh, Michaels tends to have brilliant coupons, so I used a 45% off coupon, which brought the total down to $11 Canadian for the six markers, meaning these puppies were less than $2 each. So let's just put that into perspective. Less than $2, $8, you see why they're the budget option. So I'm here to say like whether or not these are actually a good investment or whether it's worth it to shell out for the Copic markers. Um, so this is not my first time using them. I, I used them uh, the other day after I bought them and did some drawings just to see what they were like, but I'm ready to kind of do an official test that you can see has been laid out here. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the nibs on the pens here and I'm gonna compare them to the Copic markers themselves. So this is a double-ended pen. You've got your chisel tip and uh, basically what is the brush tip. And now this is what makes Copic markers so unique. Other brands like Prismacolor um, and uh, other brands, I don't know, <laughs> they don't have that brush nib. So that's where Copic kind of, um, yeah, that's their, their staple feature as, as pens. Um, so I'll pull this open for you here, and I'm sorry if it's a little out of focus, but this is the brush nib for the Artist Loft pen, and I'm gonna pull off and show you guys the brush nib for the Copic markers. So, you know, honestly, they kind of look the same. They kind of do, but I have had some experience with it, uh, having used both now already, and in my uh, opinion, the Artist Loft pen does not have as much flex as the Copic marker pen does, so the Copic marker, or sorry, nib, the Copic marker nib bends quite a bit if you put pressure on it, whereas the Artist Loft pen doesn't really. It stays pretty stiff. Um, the other difference that I'm noticing is that there's a general like smoothness to the Copic markers. It's almost velvety, whereas this sort of feels like a felt tip, even though it is the, um, the, I don't know, the nib. But anyway, though that's how those two sides compare. Just for posterity, I never use the chisel sides, but I'll show off those as well. You can actually see that they're super different. The Artist Loft chisel is considerably thicker, both um, both thicker and wider than the Copic marker. So if you wanted to lay down larger areas of ink, then that's perfect for you. But if you like the I don't know, the precision that you can get with a Copic chisel. I don't know, like I said, I never used that side. Anyway, that's how these two markers compare visually. So moving on, I'm gonna show you guys a few different things. First up, we're gonna go through and see how these markers each interact with three different kinds of pens that I have. Um, we've got the Pentel Hybrid Technica, which is a gel pen. It's one of my favorite lining pens. It's what I do all my sketching in, um, and it's what I've done all this, these like boxes and stuff in. The Sakura Micron, which is a standard for inking pens, and the Prismacolor Premier, which I also picked up at the same time as I picked up these markers, and I'm trying them out as well, so this is new for me. Um, I'm gonna use the, uh, excuse me for one sec. I'm gonna use the N2. So uh, I have N2 in both Artist Loft and Copic Sketch. Yes, so I'm gonna use that. It's the lightest color, so we'll be able to see if there's any bleeding or anything pretty easily. So. Oh yeah, one thing about this that just drives me bonkers is that um, this side on the Artist Loft is the one that has the line, the chisel side, but on the Copic Sketch, it's the brush side that has the line, so that's, that's kind of a little different. But we'll start with the Copic. Um, I know that the Hybrid Technica and the Copics tend to not get along that well, but these have, these have been drying for quite a while, so we'll see if we have any greater luck there. I'm gonna lay it on a little thick. Oh yeah, look at that. If I really just let it dry, it it works out. <laughs> uh, I'll put it over the the micron here and the Prisma color. Cool. 
So as we can see, um, I can't adjust the focus at the moment, so sorry about that, but there is no bleeding across the board. No bleeding. Everything is staying exactly where it's supposed to be, so that's what we want. Let's see if the Artist Loft also does that. And you'll maybe be able to see as I lay down the color how it kind of goes on differently. You can kind of hear the difference, you know what I mean? It just sounds more like a felt tip than um, than the Copic does. Not not necessarily in a bad way, but like even you can see the the feathering on the outside of the strokes uh, comes out differently. But yeah, again, not in a bad way. Um, so yeah, it looks like the Artist Loft is also not bleeding in any way. So that's good. That's what we like to see. Uh, moving on, we're going to go down here, I'm going to show you the color comparisons. So, <clears throat> what I bought was um, the, the neutral gray set from Artist Loft, and they gave me N2, N3, um, N5, N6, N8, and N10, I believe. Uh, now, I do not have 8 or 5 or 10 in the Copics which is kind of why I bought these. <laughs> but um, I'm going to compare the color tones that I do have here. So we can already kind of see from what I've done up here that the um, the N2 is very close. So we'll start, I'll just put the loft N2 down here. And then we'll grab the Copic. I mean, the lighting in here isn't perfect, but it looks pretty darn near the same color to me, you know? I, if I was trying to match, like, if I ran out of one and I was like, oh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the other, I, I feel like you could get away with that. Um, so let's go on to N3, starting with the Copic here, so just a little darker. I find that the, the caps on the Artist Loft pens are quite inaccurate, especially I was looking at some of the colored markers. Uh, I didn't end up buying any colored ones, but I was looking at them and the, the, yeah, the lids didn't really match what the ink looked like on the inside, but, you know, that's not really a big deal. Alright, again, we've got, honestly, a pretty close match. If anything, I want to say the Artist Loft pens are a little cooler, but... I could just be like looking, <laughs> just looking for trouble, you know? So I'm gonna pull out um, N6. Now my N6 here, my Copic is pretty like dried out, so it's not gonna maybe go on quite as perfectly. We'll see if it can hold on tight just for this one patch. All right, attaboy, attaboy N6. And let's see. Yeah, honestly, really close. Really, really close. Definitely the same um, value, which is obviously what the number is indicating anyway, so that's what you want to see. Alright, we're going to go over here now. Uh, we're going to try blending with these. So this is sort of the most important thing when it comes to these markers, right? Because that's what you're going to be doing, is you're going to be blending. So let's grab our handy dandy N2, N3, N5, N6. I'm gonna grab my N4 Copic just for just for demonstration. Cause again, I, I don't have the N5, but I do wanna do like three colors so you can see a proper gradient here. So we'll start at the top. I'm gonna lay down some N2. Now this is obviously um, three shades in like a step, so two, three, four. So it's gonna blend a little nicer than, let me just make sure I get the caps on the right ones, oh my god. It's gonna blend a little nicer probably than the five is going to in the Artist Lop set, but as you can see, Copic markers, seamless blending, beautiful, beautiful gradient right there. That's what we like to see, folks. All right, so I'm gonna grab Two, three, and five, and we're gonna do exactly the same thing down here. Mm 
them see, seeing these gradients here I'm starting to see more of a difference in the color of the ink I don't know if it, you can pick it up on the video quite like you can see it in real life but the the Copic neutral gray is a distinctly like heather gray it's very kind of purple undertones um, bluish a little bit and then the loft has a very slight greenish tint to it and it's very imperceptible <laughs> But I can, I can see it now that I have it laid out like this. But anyway, let's talk about the blending a bit. So, honestly, pretty good, you know? Like, that's a gradient. <laughs> pretty much the same. And again, this was the five versus the four, and I'm sort of feeling like maybe those colors are a little closer to each other than, than maybe you'd expect them to be. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Um, all right, so we're gonna go on to the layering. Uh, I have here, this is a strip of N2, this is dry. This is, I applied this quite a while ago. So I'm just gonna show you how layering an N2 and an N3 and an N4 on top of that will affect the, the color below. So start with the N2 here. And I like to do a, like a like a good couple layers with my with my markers. I don't want anything to look too streaky, you know. So there you have it. In all honesty, you can't really see much through on, on the far left one where I'm layering the the N2 on itself, it does make it a little bit darker. And uh, sometimes I do that when I'm when I'm doing illustrations, is I'll let the, the ink dry completely and then do another layer of the same color just to get a slight variation for like a, a soft shadow or something like that. Um, okay, let me grab then for the other side here, the N2 on the left side. chisel nib. Oh, well, there goes the lid. Oh, weird. I, th I think that might be a line coming through from what's on the other side, but anyway, okay. So, looking here, pretty much exactly the same. Right. And weirdly, I feel like the N4 is like darker than the N5 in the uh... I'm just gonna grab this lid. In the Artist Loft marker. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know if that's just me or what, but yeah, so we get the same layering effect. It. I mean, look at this. Look at this and tell me that this doesn't compare. Like, and again, let me reiterate. These markers were less than $2 each. Um, I don't know if you can buy refill ink for them. I didn't look into that, but Copic refill ink is kind of hard to get your hands on anyway, so whatever. I always end up just buying replacement pens. And these, these are $8. Like, without a coupon, $8. So, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. So now we're going to end off the video. I've um, put together just a quick drawing here. I'm going to do half of her face in the, or like, herself in the Copic and half of it in the artist loft and we're gonna see <laughs> I don't know how it compares or maybe wait let me think should I do it like like half and half or should I just use it all together maybe maybe I'll use it all together so we can see how the Copics can complement the artist loft and how you can maybe use them in tandem so that's pretty much it for the talking I'm gonna check back in with you guys when this is finished and we'll wrap up this video so enjoy
Alright guys, I hope that was kind of fun to watch or like somewhat informative. I basically used um, the Artist Loft and Copix interchangeably, so you can kind of see how they have different effects, um, how the nib sort of creates a different line quality, for example. I, I'd say that's the biggest difference between these two, is that the Copic markers are able to achieve a, a more fine and smoother line, whereas the Artist Loft is a little bit better at laying down larger areas and doesn't have quite the same kind of brushy softness that the Copic markers do. But again, you're looking at a very, very, very good price for a totally comparable marker. So. Yeah, uh, that's my review of the Artist Lock Alcohol Base Marker. Again, super hope you guys got something out of this, and we will see you next time. Take it easy.